So I want to take this test to see if I will survive the zombie apocalypse. I don't know why, but the zombie genre of video games have become my favorite genre over the past couple of years. So I, I don't know why, but it just is. In the year 2065, an unknown virus breaks out. Bro, get it together. In the year of 2065, an unknown virus outbreak happens in your city. You are going to need to face a lot of zombies in the area, and every choice you um, will need to make will be very careful in order to survive longer. I cannot fucking read. I'm sorry. Will you be able to survive three days, a week, a month? Could you last a year, even a decade, in order to become the hero that saved the world? Take this quiz. Boom. April 16th, 2065, Don. It's the first week since you moved to live in this small town. You're living alone on the second floor of a house near the street. You unfold the curtain and see that something you could never have. Oh my god, bro. What the f? Oh, you almost had it. What's wrong with me? You unfold the curtain and see something that you could never have imagined before. See, that's not on me. This wording is crazy. The street that used to be empty nearly empty has now now has been seven or eight people bro take your time <laughs> take your time you unfold the curtain and see something you could never have imagined before the street that used to be nearly empty now has seven or eight people wandering it Peace. Blood covers their faces and bodies. The rear, the wear ragged. They wear ragged clothes, and their arms and legs seem to be frozen. Suddenly, one of them turns around to look at you. You will try to check out his face, squat down, and avoid eye, eye contact. I'm black. If I see blood covering somebody's faces, I wouldn't do either of these, but I would prefer to squat. I'm black. We don't do oh, these things. No. You can't believe what's happening. Zombie. The Z word flashes back and forth in your mind, but you still can't believe it. You decide to immediately contact family and friends, check out the news, Google survival knowledge, and call the police. I don't know what the feds is going to do. I'm not talking to them. Google, I've done a lot of research. I play games. So what I will first do is call and check on my family. Let's see what they got going on. You just realize that there's no no mobile signal and you can't access the internet. You are isolated from the outside world. Bang! Suddenly a big noise reaches your ears and then you hear car horns and sounds of people shouting. You decide to stay in the room and wait for rescue. Leaves the current place for a safety zone. Mm, I'm not staying and waiting. I'm getting up out of there. You decide to leave the room, however, it seems you still need to wait for a chance to come to leave. So while you wait, you remain in the room and make sure the doors and windows are locked well, prepare enough water, prepare enough food, find something to use as a weapon. Boom, give me a weapon. That's gonna be my favorite part, building a weapon, man. I mean, it's gonna be too it's gonna be too many game memories filling my head when this happened, bro. I think about it often. All the combinations of weapons. After you've done some preparation, you start to recall movie shows and games about zombies. You recall that the characteristics of zombies are moving slowly, having a body that never rise, preferring to group with other zombies, only being active at night, having a strong will to eat something. These are subjective. All of these aren't correct. I'm... Yeah. Besides those, you recall some ways to kill zombies. They are throwing salt at the zombies, or throwing their heart, destroying their head, using fire to burn them. Fire might not work, but it depends on what type of zombies we got because there's different types of zombies. But usually, destroying the head does take them off. Click on the head, bro. What's going on? What the heck is going on? feel a bit tired and decide to take a nap. Huh? Now you feel a bit tired and decide to take a nap. After you close your eyes, you start to have a short dream. In a dream, you see a zombie coming at you. The zombie will show up in your screen. Please click on your mouse. Chop, chop, chop. You hear the 
helicopter's propeller noise and it gives you a lucky feeling. A few seconds later, there's a voice from a loudspeaker on the helicopter. We discovered an owner on virus. Please stay at home and don't go out before the police can find out exactly what's happening. Pete, we discovered an unknown virus. Do you agree with the government's suggestion to stay at home and wait for a rescue? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You don't trust that the government will handle everything perfectly because you have already seen the zombies with your own eyes, so you prefer to move somewhere else ASAP, stay in the house, stay calm, and wait for opportunities to rise. I'm going to find my family, bro. You hear a child crying outside in the corridor, looking out every peephole of your front door, you find a very young girl sitting on the floor crying. She's wearing tidy clothes and there's no blood to be found on her body. At this moment, you are more concerned about what happened to her parents, how can I help her with her crying, attack zombies, how did she get here in my house? How did she get to my house, bro? Suddenly, you hear a lot of zombies making terrible noises. Looking through the window, you find four targets, which of them looks like a normal person as opposed to someone being by a zombie. She's ripped clothes. He could be drunk, but he has a knife or something. This guy, maybe D. Later, you hear something at your window. You are very worried that the house could be invaded and you are concerned about your life. Now, what can make you... Now, what can make you feel it better? You see what I'm saying? It's not me. It's these. This is wording. Having a strong friend with you, having a useful weapon on hand. I am the strong friend. What? Just then, a very loud bombing noise shakes the room. A zombie seemed to run away. You look through the peak hole again, but couldn't find that little girl. Looks like a great opportunity to escape the house. You can only bring three items in the bag. What will you choose? Family photos, two bottles of water, daily medicine, a bottle of vodka, a bag of bread, a roll of toilet paper, a bag of N96 masks. Um, some water, vodka, and a torch. I don't understand how this works, bro. Like, the question's like, I don't know. I'm giving myself a year regardless. Are you and you decide to take kitchen knife as a weapon, electric saw, stainless steel, razor, baseball bat with nails on it? Uh, the electric saw sounds fucking awesome. The front door connects. You a lot. The, the bat sounds cool too. The electric saw sounds cool. The front door connects to the street where you saw the zombies. The back door goes to a lush forest. Which way would you choose to escape? Kitchen window, yard, back door. Yard, front door, corridor, yard, front door, corridor, fire escape, back door. So I'm going out the back door. If the little girl is gone, maybe she got away. But. Uh, a fire escape in the back door? Before reaching the back door, you find a zombie eating a head. Thick blood covers his face, and it's a bit of uneaten intestine stains from his teeth. You decide to run super fast by it, return to the yard, and make a detour to the front door. Alright, let's detour. The streets are on fire and covered with debris. You can almost smell the meat burning. Before running away, you decide to come up with an organized plan first. Please sort the options to prioritize. Find a vehicle. Get more food. Find somewhere to hide yourself. Look for other survivors. So first of all, I'm finding a vehicle. What the heck? So I'm finding a vehicle. Get some food. And look for some other people. And then. Let's see. A hundred and thirty five days. It's such a terrible and desperate time. You can manage better than some people. Looks good. So I got four months. I feel like if I got the questions answered the way I wanted to. It would have been a lot better. But man. I feel like I could do a lot better than that. If you want to run this test, you can check out the, uh, I'll put it in the description. I'll put the, um, website in the description. Let me know what you get, and I'm out.